very very good day to you people my name is Mohit and today I'll teach you how to create a spry tooltip before I actually start creating a spry tooltip let me tell you what a spry tooltip is uh, I think this is best explain if I show you I'm in the classic view guys in Dreamweaver CS5 and under the spry section if I take my mouse over this specific icon it says sprite tooltip now this pop-up rectangle which says a sprite tooltip is actually a sprite tooltip I'll do it again see the pop-up box coming up which says sprite tooltip now it's like a hint it's, it's like giving you an extra information now this is a sprite tooltip guys uh, then let's start making one what I'm gonna do is in this specific uh, sentence which is what does CSS mean I'm gonna apply the sprite tooltip to CSS alright I think things will become uh, more and more clear clear as we make it so let me first save the file I'll say a file and a save and uh, the name that I'll give is tooltip save immediately uh, Dreamweaver says that uh, I need to that is, is it'll be um, saving uh, supporting files spry-tooltip.css and spry-tooltip.js javascript file and a cascading style sheet file uh, these files will be copied to the local site folder and they must be uploaded to the server for the object of behavior to function correctly that's quite understandable I'll say ok next what I'll do is before I actually apply the spry tooltip to CSS these three characters I'll first uh, give some inline styling to this so it stands out guys in the properties uh, properties inspector down below we have the HTML section we also have the CSS section I would urge you to go in the CSS section and in the targeted rule drop down and say new inline style you're gonna create a style guys inline style um, and then I'm gonna click on edit rule thereafter in the pop-up box or the dialog box that appears I'm just gonna change the color and uh, also the text decoration I'm gonna keep it at underline and then I'm gonna say okay and uh, notice the change guys in the body area it's created a span style it says the text decoration is underlined and the color is a uh, hash 069 so this CSS these three characters in the sentence what does uh, CSS mean stand out okay I'm gonna select CSS once again by highlighting these three characters and now guys I'm gonna apply a sprite tooltip there are two ways I can do that I can either be in the classic view and then make sure that I'm in the sprite category click on this icon the last icon on the extreme right which says spry tooltip or else I can say insert spry spry tooltip as soon as I do that guys you will notice that a you know a, a box appears which is uh, uh, having a, a background color which is I, I think it's a hash FFC so also guys uh, notice under the CSS styles uh, you will find these two rules popping up these are CSS rules that pop up and the background color is a hash FFFFCC excuse me that's the background color it's a very um, light mild uh, yellowish color let me show you in the uh, live view what exactly have we done so far let me first save it once again click on live view button and let me take the mouse pointer over these three characters CSS it says tooltip content goes here which I need to now replace I'll go inside uh, this box and I need to change the text I've just copy pasted uh, this new text which says cascading style sheet let me go back to the live view guys and now this time when I hover over CSS it says cascading style sheet so it's giving out an extra information about uh, these three characters CSS this is how guys um, a tooltip works but I, I want to use a background image instead of a background color also um, want to you know beautify it a little more 
give it a little more juice this is very basic this is very uh, simple this probably you could have done yourself what was uh, then the need to watch a tutorial okay so I'm coming off the live you guys I'm gonna make certain changes to this uh, second rule under CSS style all rules and the second rule is dot, dot tooltip content all I need to do is uh, confine myself to this rule I wouldn't be touching the iframe tooltip rule at all okay I'm gonna double click and then I'm going down to the background category instead of uh, choosing the color which I'll say none I'll instead be choosing my own image which is sitting next to the Stryasis folder I'm gonna say OK and uh, OK again and then I'm gonna take you to the live view to uh, show you uh, what, what has happened now this is not exactly the way I wanted it to look so which means I'm, I need to tweak this rule make uh, more changes and then we'll have a very good looking a uh, nice looking stride tooltip I'm going back to the rule guys coming off the live view double clicking on uh, tooltip content going back to the background uh, category I'll make sure that my background image does not repeat itself okay and then I'll go to the box category here I will uh, put the dimensions of uh, the sprite tooltip my tooltip guys is 262 pixels in width I already know that and in height uh, I think I'll need to check that let me quickly go to my local site folder the tooltip PNG image is 112 pixels in height let me get back to Dreamweaver and put 112 there okay I'm gonna say okay now and uh, this time I'll take a live view once again okay we are, we are getting there guys we're just getting there still not there but we are getting there it's a nice background image guys it has a drop shadow this image was created using Adobe Fireworks this is Adobe Fireworks guys and this is the image that I just created um, I, I had a drop shadow, uh, you know, drop shadow, <laughs> excuse me, filter going with this uh, background image and a very nice uh, outline. Okay, coming back to uh, Dreamweaver and I'm in the live view, guys. So, uh, what actually remains now is the padding. I don't have the padding yet. Okay, so I'll need to add the padding. I'm going back to the rule, which is tooltip content, coming off the live view, double clicking on the rule and then I'll go to the box category I will give it a padding of 6 pixels all around which also means guys if I increase the padding mind you the width would increase the height would increase as well the total width uh, takes into consideration the top right bottom and left padding as well so if the top and the bottom padding have been increased by 6 pixels each I need to decrease the the height by 12 pixels 6 plus 6 is 12 so I'll need to make the height 100 and so also since I uh, gave a left padding of 6 pixels a right padding of 6 pixels I'll need to decrease the width by 12 pixels and make it 250 guys and I'll say OK and uh, then go to the live view and uh, check hmm so guys uh, everything seems set everything seems fine in good health thumbs up okay uh, let me get come off the live view and uh, let me add some extra information CSS uh, is very powerful I, I love CSS for obvious reasons okay and uh, getting back to the live view right so guys uh, this is looking very neat um, probably six pixels of padding isn't enough but then guys uh, you can um, since you have understood the concept very well I'm sure you can increase the padding and whenever you increase the padding make sure that you decrease the width and the height accordingly okay very very cool now what we'll do is uh, we will uh, just check out some other uh, properties of uh, the sprite tooltip which means then again I have to come off the live view 
and uh, when I come up to live you guys as soon as I hover over this background image I see a blue color tab right on the top left corner I need to click on that the moment I click on that I'm presented with uh, so many options here uh, one of the options on the right say show delay and hide delay if I say the show delay to be 1000 and the hide delay to be 1000 again now guys this is the time in milliseconds after which the tooltip will appear or disappear when I take my mouse pointer over the trigger of the tooltip the trigger is those three character CSS let me prove my point let me go back to the live view and uh, <coughs> excuse me guys and uh, take the mouse pointer over CSS it takes one second after which the tooltip appears and then if I take my mouse pointer off it still uh, takes uh, one more second for it to disappear so that's the time in millisecond guys please don't make the mistake of putting uh, seconds there that will be too short a time okay coming off the live view again to check uh, some other options now horizontal offset and vertical offset is the distance that you want the tooltip to appear from the trigger trigger is CSS if I say I want the, the um, horizontal offset and the vertical offset to uh, you know offset to be just 10 and 10 it will be pretty close to the trigger 10 pixels each so let me go back to the live view to show you what I mean guys uh, it's just 10, 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels uh, towards the bottom this time I'm uh, to uh, you know to illustrate my point or this example I'm gonna make it 100 100 pixels each and this time going into the live view you will notice that it's been displaced by 100 pixels downwards and towards the right I'll come up the live view and this time uh, let me try something else mm. let me try a horizontal offset of uh, minus 100 guys going back to the live view see guys this time instead of going towards the right it goes towards the left so a minus value is acceptable as well cool let me uh, make it uh, 25 25 I think that should be decent and this time instead of choosing the effect as none I'm gonna choose the blind effect the stride tooltip will blind down guys let me go back to the live view and uh, hover over CSS and notice how uh, it blinds down I'll show it to you again blinds up and blinds down similarly if I were to choose the fade effect it will fade in and fade out let me show it to you live view hover over CSS here there it fades in and fades out cool very very nice I'm coming off the live view guys and then uh, I'm gonna check uh, the meaning of follow mouse if I check follow mouse on and uh, if I go to the live view and if I hover over CSS the tooltip appears but uh, when I move my mouse across CSS these three characters uh, you know the sprite tooltip moves along with my mouse movements if I, I go towards the left it, it follows me like a shadow so that is uh, the meaning of follow mouse I'm going to come off the live view and let me now explain hide on mouse out let me come off follow mouse I just have the hide on mouse out uh, checked on guys I'm gonna go to the live view and then I'm gonna go and hover over CSS the tooltip appears after one seconds because the sh show delay is set to 1000 milliseconds I'm gonna keep my mouse pointer over the tooltip itself and then guys it will not disappear as long as the tooltip is hovering over not the trigger but the tooltip itself it's gonna stay there excuse me it's gonna stay there as long as my mouse pointer is over the tooltip itself so irrespective of the fact whether the tooltip is over uh, the trigger which is those three characters CSS is still stays put it says unless and until you come off me I'm not gonna move I'm not gonna disappear at all now uh, just to prove my point I'm gonna come off this uh, tooltip and take it take the mouse pointer 
out and uh, according to what we have set as the property which is hide on mouse out it will hide itself there goes yes it did that so guys uh, I explained the sprite tooltip in detail I, I told you about the effects which are which are none blind and fade but guys usually I find that uh, blind and fade do not work very well sometimes it does not uh, so caution advised while using the blind and the fade effects especially the blind effect you know what show delay means you also know what high delay means you understand the meaning of uh, horizontal and vertical offset basically displaces the tooltip away from the trigger the trigger is the CSS in this case you also understand what hide on mouse out means you also know what follow mouse means so guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please do uh, rate guys please do comment please do subscribe if you think I made a decent effect uh, you know um, a decent uh, uh, tutorial that affected you rather uh, I'll see you next time guys with yet another uh, Dreamweaver CS5 tutorial or probably Flash CS5 5.5 ActionScript 3. Ciao. You do uh, take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.